Lobby's Commentary, Rudin's Principles of Mathematical Analysis, Page 2, Equations for Q. We can show that equation p squared equals 2 is not satisfied by any rational p. The red dots represent set A, which is all positive rationals p such that p squared is less than 2. The gaps between the red dots represent the irrational numbers. In the first part of example 1.1, square root 2 was proven to be irrational, and its location is the blue dot that lies between 1.4 and 1.5, since the following. We can show that A contains no largest number. More explicitly, for every P in A, we can find a rational Q in A, such that P is less than Q. Here, epsilon is a small positive rational number. From inequality 2, if we knew epsilon, then we could find Q. Thus, our goal is to find a possible epsilon. It's not clear from inequality 3 what epsilon could be since the difference between irrational square root 2 and rational p is irrational. We can use the equality here to get the right term in inequality 4. Although the term is still irrational due to the irrational denominator, it's now easier to pick a rational epsilon. The denominator needs only to be rational and larger than square root 2 plus p, but choosing 2 plus p will yield nice simplifications. Referring to inequality 2, having found a possible epsilon, we associate with each rational p greater than 0 the number q. Here, Rudin's equation 3 and Rudin's equation 4. If p is an a, then p squared minus 2 is less than 0. And so, by equation 9, the subtrahend is negative, and so p is less than q. By equation 10, the equality of negative values means q squared minus 2 is less than 0, and so q squared less than 2. Thus, Q is an A. The same logic applies to set B, which is all positive rationals P such that P squared greater than 2. For every P in B, we can find a rational Q in B such that Q is less than P. Rudin's equation 3 and Rudin's equation 4. Equations 9 and 10 are the same as before. If p is in b, then p squared minus 2 is greater than 0. And so, by equation 9, the subtrahend is positive, and so 0 less than q less than p. By equation 10, the equality of positive values means q squared minus 2 is greater than 0, and so q squared greater than 2. Thus, q is in set B.